Jill Malik. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you hit that sub button and the notification bell to be notified when I do go live. Okay, y'all. It's your boy Gio Mallet and your girl Kat, and, and we also got Chevelle in here. So I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure that you guys keep the comments going down at the bottom below. This was supposed to be an interview, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But this is supposed to be an interview. We just keep getting told to push back time at the time of the time. Chevelle says she don't have no time. She's ready to come on out and say what she got to say. And I'm gonna say this. For the person who wrote whatever he wrote, like I'm soft, bro, uh, let me just address you real quick. I'm not the person who you think I am. I am trying to change my ways and be like, but to, to not be tripping no more because I'm trying to follow a different path to life. But also, I'm going to say this. I am human and I get triggered by certain things like women getting hit, children involved in it. That triggers me. I don't know how to control that. But it just triggers me to a point to where I do want to snap. But I need to learn how to take control of that. But this ain't about me. This is about Chevelle right now. And it's about her story. And I'm going to let her speak her mind on this. Because like she said, if 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 Quayla's girlfriend wanted to talk to uh, Chevelle, you had the opportunity. You got the opportunity still while we up here. So if you're watching, you can click the link and come on. I sent you the link. You can come on. So go ahead, Chevelle. I'm going to leave the flow. It's on you. You know, Chevelle, you ain't in that relationship, man? No, nigga. And you see text me. No, you ain't in that No, nigga. What if I want to? Okay, what about me? What about me? Who is that? I don't even know who that comes from. Someone said, I'm so glad I met you. Forget the answer. Let me call. Let's call. Let's call. I'm going to be inside. You do quiet, but if that's what I want you to do, you can't tell me. You can't tell me. You can't tell me. You can't tell me. What you mean? You can't tell me. You can't tell me. You made the first move, bro. Fuck them. I'll you. You're such a lame ass nigga. So you lying to me that you ain't talking about the baby situation. So you just talking about the last place. I've been saying this talk about this place. I've been saying this talk about this. This nigga been cheating on me for three years. <laughs> With a whole other person. It's the audacity for me. He's a straight clown.
thing about it is like he trying to pretty much take the take the blame on me when I've done nothing but be good to Quaylin. Like like good to him. Yeah. So my thing about it is like you know you foul. You know you evil. You have tried to destroy me after just you just try your best. Yeah, can I say something real quick, Chabelle? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, look, it wasn't Q that came for me. It was some lame dude, Buster. I don't know what he called himself. Came for me. I, I don't know who the dude was, honestly. Tried to say somebody man, on a fake page. Me, me and Quaylen, they said me and Quaylen both lame. And I, so my wife deleted it, said something to him. But I wanted to say something to him personally. Like, hey, man, if you see me in real life, bro, you would not say nothing to me, bro. Like for real, but uh, it's not about me again. I, it wasn't Q, y'all, so don't get it twisted. Like he came for me, no, he did not come for me. So nah, it wasn't Q. But go ahead, Qu I mean, uh, Savelle, I'm sorry, I cut you. I just wanted to let that be known. Oh, okay. I didn't know nothing like that was going on. My bad. Okay. No, it, it got deleted. But, but oh, it got deleted. Okay. Yeah, it got deleted. Okay. So but, long story short, I didn't expose yeah, you, Quaylin. I didn't expose you. Aaron brought it to my awareness and I got I mean <laughs> at the end of the day what Aaron did like he he basically saved my life because my because while you doing what you're doing like you play with my life I got a nine-year-old daughter man and I, I I care about my daughter more than I care about myself so let me just put that out there so the fact that you pretty much try to play with my life like that like that's the most disrespectful thing from a person that been holding you down, holding you down from jail till now. When even when you was only at your lowest, at your lowest and at your highest, I was there. Never missed a beat. So, you know, what are these trash bags? Those trash, yeah, those trash bags is the 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 clip of when she basically uh found out about he was with me, and she pretty much packed the stuff up. Mind you, I didn't even know the man even had. Uh, clothes over her house. I didn't know. I didn't even know he had. You know. So basically, he was living a double life. See, mm. what he was doing is he had too much time on his hands because he wasn't working. So mm. therefore, if I when I go out of town, he probably doing whatever he want to do. You get what I'm saying? And acting like he good, and when he wasn't. So she pretty much packed the stuff up or whatever. So she, mind you, she's sending me all these receipts on Quaylin. She's even sending me messages from his mother out of her phone, out of his phone. So the girl, what's her name, Nika? The, the girl that was supposed to come on today. The she's girl. the one who, who's been with him this whole entire time. Yeah. And doing all this. And we were supposed to interview her, but she kept pushing the time back to her. I'm like, but people get taking their lunch breaks and at work, and you know, people like, at work. People at work. We got to do it now. Yeah, I mean, and you I'm in the it. car driving. To be honest with you, so ain't no excuse. You know, be, I'm just being honest. That's why we just started it. So, Mika, if you listening, if you want to come up here, this is the time that you can talk to Chevelle right now, and Aaron is up here too. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Hey, Aaron, how on, you man? doing? Love, I'm all right. Mm, what happened to Quayla and him? I, I don't even know. 
Yeah. It seemed like they they thinking about what to do next. It I ain't nothing. Not to, listen, it ain't, because, listen. I'm a, let me set it right. Let me set it straight. It ain't nothing to think about. Like at the end of the day, he's just gonna go on with his life and do him. He's the one. He's the one poking the bear, right? So my thing about it is, he's saying that I expose him. I never expose him, Aaron. When I you did. Came, Aaron, when you came to me, and let's be real. When you came to me, what I wasn't I. Uh, the, the, you I was in denial. Yeah, you I basically. It. And guess what? That was still protecting him, correct? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. When I really found out that Aaron was not lying, Aaron, I I seen my bedroom, the the big, correct? Yeah. And I'm like, what the heck? And guess what? What's crazy is y'all, Mika got that same video. <laughs> <laughs> so mind you, she she had to know about me. But guess what? What Quaylen messed up is about is when he came back out here in Dallas. Quaylen told the young lady apparently that he was. Uh, that's what she said. And I can release that audio too, baby. So uh, Quaylen told the young lady that he had a roommate that I was that I was his roommate. Whether it, I don't, she never been inside my place, but she was picking him up apparently. So mind you, you she knew about me the whole entire time. She even talked about my daughter in the audio and talked shit on him as well too, right? But my thing about it is. All this came to me back to back. I got receipts where Aaron came to me first. And that was on what? I think that was on December the 8th or 9th. It was December the 9th because she was on December the 10th. So I found out about both of y'all back to back. And guess Damn. what? We were done filming, right? We were done filming. We was about to move into our place. And we were done filming. And the minute I found out about Aaron is when I walked away. I was done. I was done after that. Mm -hmm. I was done. Did, there you was send, no... did you send him the um, text message he sent me the, when you first said something to him about it, when he said to whom we make a sign, like, hey, know who I was? Yeah, I sent that. Oh, okay. I sent all that. My mm -hmm. thing about it is, I told Quaylen, I said, Quaylen, and I told Aaron I was going to tell Quaylen. I mm -hmm. said, Quaylen, this man is trying to destroy your family. What you going to do? I went to him and I went to his mama. I told them both. I said, what, what you going to do? Y'all need to handle this because what's going on? What is he talking about? So that's when all that just unfolded. I didn't go to Aaron. Aaron came to me. I didn't ask for this. Me and you, me and Quaylen was good. We were good. So my thing mm -hmm. about it is he's just fronting and all that. Like, honestly, I've never... Like I had, I ain't had that many boyfriends, but he was the, he's the worst boyfriend I ever had. Just because of the fact that the matter is you going around here lying, lying at the lies, at the lies, at the lies, at the lies, and been a big manipulator. Like you out here manipulating people, playing with people's lives. The fact that the matter is you did not, you did not acknowledge Aaron. Aaron, we all are victims, including the woman that she with, right, the, the woman he with right now. She's a victim too, but he just got her in La La Land. The reason why I know she he got her in La La Land because I used to be her. Right now, she's basically basically not taking everything in about what's really going on. That pretty much you're really the home wrecker. You pretty much knew about me. You knew about me. You knew about me, Mika. You saying you didn't know about me, but okay, if you didn't know, then we when we had met up, you said that you were done with him. Which I knew that it wasn't true. So that day, if you want to be honest and transparent, I told you, I said, you know what? I found, I even told, and what's crazy is, <laughs> I even told her about Erin. She's like, I already knew something was up about that. I got those receipts too, right? So my thing about it is, when I met up with you, I told you, I said, you can have him. I don't want him no more. This was it. That was already it because I already found out about Erin. So I was, I was already done. I was done. I I should have been more done when you pretty much put your hands on me, bro. And but, on the iPhone. but when you put your hands on me, we were we were filming. Got a I got a big and I got receipts about that. Put a big hole in my door. Who brought him the iPhone and the PS5? Oh, I I bought I bought him the iPhone and the PS5. Those receipts should be up there as well too. 
I bought that. So he talking about he want his beanie bags back. You can still have the phone. You just got to pay your own bill now. My thing about it is uh, the, the the PS5 that you want, I get gave you that as a gift. And I got the receipt for that too. So when you talking about I need to give you back your beanie bags and your hats, like that's that's like that's whack. A person that's been down for you at your lowest, especially when you was going through it. Cause me, I I'm a person, be honest with y'all, I don't really know too much about uh about drugs like that. So at, when he was at his lowest and stuff, I, I helped fix him back together. And he know what I'm talking about. So my thing about it is, like, don't don't try to come for me when this whole time, this whole six and a half years we was together, Quaylen, I have never went on anything about, about us at all. My thing with you is, you're supposed to be a protector, a provider, and all the above. So when Aaron came and did all that, you could you should have said something right there immediately. You are gonna say to whom may be concerned? But how is it that you have his phone number? We both had two brand new numbers. We both had two brand new numbers, and Aaron had his brand. Aaron had his number, and that bothered me too. Because if y'all okay, say for instance y'all didn't have nothing in jail, why do Aaron have your number? Now you're acting like you can't acknowledge who Aaron is. You don't know who he is. It's like you're you don't under you need to sit down and really think and reflect about what you say and what you do. Because the math is not mathing. And the only reason why he threatened me is because my cousin came on here and defended me. And he said nothing but facts. So now Quaylan, the reason why he's going at me so tough is because I know his deepest secrets but I wouldn't tell his deepest secrets like that but I am telling my truth and this is my truth I am the victim I'm the one that got cheated on I'm the one that feels I'm I want to say I'm embarrassed because I'm 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 in a different space in my life you know because you know what what happened to me Basically, make and help somebody else. That's how I'm looking at it. Maybe God is basically trying to help me help save other souls. I don't know what it is, but what I do know for sure is I've never, I was never a bad woman to that man. I was good to him, even when the times when he was so, even when me and his mother know exactly what I'm talking about because she had updates because he wasn't even really trying to talk to her like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is the same ungrateful man. That pretty much did his own freaking family in. Did his own family in. And the reason why I'm talking about all this today is because I, after today, I'm not talking. I'm not bringing Quaylen. And I know I said I was taking a social media break and I did. I've been healing since the, since I was uh, posting the show. I've been healing nonstop. I've been healed for almost five months now. My thing about it is I'm under an NDA. So I can't say too much, but I can say this for sure. Everything that I'm telling you about is my truth. How I was played with. I'm more disappointed in him because if he would have said something to me when he got out, and I'm going to be very real and says, you know what, Chevelle? You know, some stuff went down or whatever. The type of person I am, I take stuff to the grave. So if he would have told me that, I would have said, you know what, Quaylen, let's go pretty much go get checked and make sure that you good. And I want to make sure that, you know, we both would have got checked. And I would have never said, I wouldn't said a word about it. But it's the fact that you keep lying about it. The letters that Aaron is saying, Q45, uh, chin up, chest out, queasy, all that. That's all my letters too, Quaylen. The same pictures he got, I got. So it's like only I would know that that this man is telling what he's telling. It's because I know you. I know the inside and the outs. I know when you're lying. I know when you're telling the truth. And right now, I'm very disappointing you because how are you going to bite the hand that fed you? How are you going to do that? Like that's that's what that's mind bothering me. Even when we was even sometimes when we was on bad times, I still looked out for you, bro. But once again, your lies caught up with you. 
And then he's saying that, I think he also said that he was never going to marry me anyway. So my thing about it is <laughs> I dodged a big bullet. I did, you know, my mama told me, my cousin told me, everybody told me, but guess what? Chevelle had to, Chevelle had to learn on her own. And that's exactly what happened. I learned on my own, you know what I'm saying? And for people that saying, you know, okay, Chevelle, you need to heal. I Listen, I have, I'm healing still, but I am in a good place in my life, literally. And honestly, like nothing, none of this was planned. Cause he said on Aaron's page, uh, that me and Aaron planned this. Why would, how can I plan something that I found out about? Like I was sick to my stomach when I found out about Aaron. I even called Aaron and was, and he would tell you, I even called, I even called Aaron and basically, uh, basically told Aaron, I, I, I just will talk to Aaron about things. Aaron, you, Aaron, are you on here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, let me talk to you real quick. Aaron, I yeah. had called you, right? And I was mm -hmm. just like talking to you. I say, I said, it's crazy. I say, I say, I did know about another young lady, but you know, he never said her. He, he never said her name. I said, I said, he used to send um, he said he used to send rest of units to her. You know, he had a cell phone in there. He was telling mm -hmm. about how he was paying yeah. bills and rent. And I yeah. said, Dang, do you know about her? And yeah. He said, What you say, Aaron? Yeah, I knew about her. Me and her had an altercation over the phone. Her name Mercedes. Exactly. We had, we had but, an altercation over the phone because he was paying her bills with stuff that I was doing for him. He got the phone because of me. So I feel like you was trying to take care of somebody else and I'm helping you so you can help me. But you, at the same time, you helping somebody else too. I went snooping and I found the logs, to the call logs, and I, I called a number that, that was on there constantly. So I called to see who it was and it was the girl Mercedes. Okay, yeah. so so my thing about it is, none of this will be happening if Quaylen would just leave me alone. Like, ain't nothing. It's nothing to talk about. I'm more disappointed than because he just recently, you know, asked me for some money. He asked <laughs> everybody for money. And so my thing about it is, how you gonna how you gonna front like that? Like, how you gonna be doing all that? And I and I'm a good hearted person. In real life, like this, I look out, I look out for people. Seriously, this but is my it, thing. He responds to you about everything, but he never responds to me about nothing. Yesterday was the first time he came through my inbox after he erased all his messages between our conversations or whatever. Like, and that's my me. cousin right there said that, that he need to be kicked out of uh, out of the Crips. He do because He's the not. Crips is mad at you, bro. They mad at you because they are they are stand up. You got loyalty tatted on you, bro. You got loyalty and respect on you. You get what I'm saying? You rep Nipsey all day, every day. That is a disgrace because you are, you was not a protector. You was not a real man. And then on top of that, all you did was lie and cap. Mm -hmm. All you did is lie and cap. Mm -hmm. Basically, don't, I'm more disappointed in you talking about that you made me. Quaylen, you did not make me. And I just keep telling you that you won't break me either. Mm-hmm. You talking about you made me, but when you got out of jail, you had nothing to worry about. Like Demarcus said, he gave I gave him a starter pack, a nice he, one, and, and and a nice one because Aaron know about it. What's crazy is Demark remember the time where we was we gonna take it way back. Me and Demark we was at we was at the apartment counting money. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And he calls me because he got into a car accident, and and my cousin was like, you know what, he he lying. He, some, you know, he was just, he was already telling me, you know, what could have possibly happened right then and there. So, boom, that happened, right? Okay. So, after he got that car wrecked, I was like, I wasn't going to get him another car. I was like, okay, dang, you know, he needs, he still needs some practice on the driving skills, whatever. Because I taught him how to drive. I taught him, to, I took him up there to get his ID, ID and all that. See, I've been there through all his obstacles in his life. So my thing about it is how you can make me when you always asking me for cash out, make that make sense. Make that make sense. Now, did and he I, have, did he, did he, did he, did he uh, I wanted to ask you this, Chevelle, and maybe you might even know too, Aaron, did he ever get 
get that girl pregnant or have a baby with her that Mika took? Is Mika Mercedes? Hmm? Oh, I don't. I don't know. Nah, nah, I don't know Mika too much about Mercedes. Mercedes. I know my, about Mercedes a little bit or whatever, and that was pretty much about that, but I never talked to her. Yeah. Okay, with it's the girl he's with now, has he ever gotten her pregnant? Because Absolutely. she said that in the live. Absolutely, he did. She I don't think that was the same girl that was talking about the ashes. Somebody, the baby got cremated or something. I think that was a whole different girl. That was yeah, that was a different girl. That was a whole different person. Yeah. And yeah, so basically, he 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 basically threatened me because I know everything. And right now, you know, what I'm saying I ain't gonna sit here in front with you. You know, I move, I move solo. You know, and he don't know where I'm at. So, you know, the fact of the matter is, he felt like he could come at me, but not them. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You put your, you say you, you all, you always gangland and all that, but you just, you're not, you're not acting like it. You're running from, you're running from everything. You, you like at this point, <laughs> I kid you not, like, cause you just recently, yesterday, he blocked, he, he, I blocked him. He I, he blocked me, and I blocked him. But before he blocked me, he basically goes and harasses me, basically on my page. They all making fake pages on my page just to see what's going on, and what I'm doing. Yeah. And then on top of that, let me tell you something. He a snake too, and I'm. A, and let me just say that because how you gonna hit up my friend and try to ask her for my new address? Like you got to be more smarter. Like seriously, and yes, I did get a restraining order on him. I did, so that should be coming to him soon. Like I'm not playing no games at all, at all whatsoever. Like this is my real life that's going on. See, people talking about what's crazy is I think what it is is, and this is some real stuff. He didn't think that I would ever be done. Yeah, and so because I'm done now. He can't take it. He's not happy where he at. Trust me. I got those receipts too. He's not happy where he's at. But he's making it doable because what else he gonna do? So he should just be single if, if anything because the person that he's sleeping with she a snake. She sent me all this information. She even gave me my computer back. And what's crazy is, and told me that she believed the Aaron situation. But now, I guess because you're you appreciate appreciate whatever that she says or whatever, that's pretty much what's going on. Just like she wanted to come on here and say that a young lady, pretty much people been hit hit me up, and I'm sure they've been hitting her up. She gonna say that I been calling her phone. Mind you, I talked to that girl like probably twice. That was it. I've been calling her phone, talking about one Quaylen back and all that. Like, cut that, cut that, cut it, cut it now, because I don't want Quaylen back. Quaylen knows that. Did Quaylen tell you that he tried to hit up a mutual friend just to pretty much tell her that he lost the best thing that ever happened to him? I got that receipt too. See, I I'm the one that that walked got got away. Now you you still gonna be there. You still gonna y'all y'all probably you know what tonight is about Chevelle. So I'm I'm in both of y'all heads right now today, and probably for the rest of his life I'm always be in his head. Uh, pretty much how he did me. He didn't handle me correctly. So my thing about it is this: he's so disrespectful because I try to get Quaylen to go and do things and stuff. He goes to the Rod Wave concert while I'm out of town shooting a movie. <laughs> he goes to the Rod Wave concert with this young lady. And make it seem like he's single. He's been standing in the uh, suite by himself. And he never stayed in the suite by himself. We would stand together. Now, what, uh, what other couple get into it and everything? And they sleep in separate rooms. Yeah, we did that. Who don't do it? Like, we was really, like, living together. So, my thing about it is, if you wasn't so with me and all that, cool. Okay, whatever. Because after today... Don't claim me at all. I was never your ex girlfriend. I don't. I don't care about life after lockup and love after lockup uh, seasons that I just did with him. Like that is literally erased out my soul. That's how done I'm with him. Like I don't care. Oh, like I listen. 
I don't care about none of that. I just want him to know, like, you treating the person that's on your bond. And I paid, I paid his bond because he didn't have the money to pay his bond. And then on top of that. <laughs> Was that who he got arrested with in the motel? No, that's a different one. So that oh, means wow. that he, so Mika, oh, wow. so Mika, that means that he cheated on you too, babe. He cheated on you that night. And I told you about that too. I was put, I was putting you up on game. Just like he was putting me up on game. But see, she went back to him. I didn't. Because I was done after she told me all that. So, so it was just to all be said, I didn't set you up, Quaylin. Because I'm sure y'all listen to this, whoever you listen to it with. I never set you up. I protected you. What you didn't do is protect me. Yeah, he you, said we. He said me and you plan this. <laughs> but how can I plan this when look at that? That the receipts online. Quaylin got two pages. Quaylin sixty is his page. Yeah. And Quay the Great is his page. So why are you writing Aaron if you don't know him? Yeah, and if you don't know me, why would you go back and erase all the messages now? And Aaron was ten steps ahead of you, right? I've been screenshotted them. Okay, because I got those same messages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Once again, Quaylin, I don't want an apology. You could keep it. Because at the end of the day, what you've done to me, it's gonna hunt you for the rest of your life. And then did you tell him about the did you tell him about the, the, the text now number they text me? Oh yeah. Uh what did the yeah? I, I just screen, him, I just screenshot the was off. I just screenshotted and sent it to you, um, to your um number, um, Malik. Oh yeah, I'm about to go in here and look. Hold on, let me. Okay, I'm about to post. We're gonna post that? this too. Yeah, Snoopy, why you do me like that? I know I hurt you, but damn, me though, you calling Chevelle Boston head ass, telling her this ain't gonna do shit. Me and you could have been good together. You looking for five minutes of fame? I would have brought you on the show and we. And then my thing about it is, it's the first you threaten Aaron, and but I get the threats constantly. I'm getting the threats constantly. He's 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 putting all this macho and anger towards me. And and what's crazy and what's crazy is he pretty much putting all this energy towards me. But if Quentin wanted to hit me up, he could have hit me up. Instead, no, he want to go. He want to start the internet stuff. I don't do this internet stuff. I've never listened. As long as y'all, I've been on TV and y'all been knowing me. I do not do none of. I don't do none of this. I don't even do interviews. I don't do it at all, cause I ain't got time for it. And not in a in a disrespectful way. I just in my life, I got too much going on to you know. So now I'm really kind of feeling some type of way because she wanted me to do an interview with her. She kept harassing me this morning. You know, but once again, the reason why this interview is happening is because Quaylin, once again, saying what he's saying, saying that I planned this, saying that I'm lying, that he he basically saying that he didn't cheat on me. But now he now how is that you got a, a girlfriend now? If that's the case, then yeah, y'all must have hooked up that fast, huh? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So let's go back into where she feels like I she feels like women that's been contacting her it's been me. When when the same women is hitting me up because Quaylin is moving sloppy. Mm -hmm. He's leaving his phone out probably, or they pretty much screenshotting it. So at the end of the day, once again, he <laughs> is a cheater and he a liar. But that's on y'all. You listen. I don't. I ain't got no type of hate in my in my body or none of that. Like I wish I honestly, even though you ain't, you did me so foul and so messed up. I wish y'all nothing but the best. Because that's your problem now. And mind you, baby, <laughs> you better put some good shoes on, because I I've been through some stuff for six and a half years with this man. So I so I'm pretty sure how your days is going some days. I'm sure. I just hate the fact that he keep coming for you, but won't respond to me. And then why you keep lying saying you don't know me? Just say you know me. Like 
Live in your truth, sir. Live in your truth. If you were just gay for the stay or whatever the case may be, just say it. Yeah, man, this dude was in relationship, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's fine. I'm going to keep going until you say the truth. I'm going to keep going. I don't have no reason to lie on you. What am I benefiting from lying on you? I just... And how am I trying to destroy you? Because first season, it was all fun and games when I was crying on the... uh, Crying and basically... Huh? He already already destroyed. Yeah, it, it it was all fun and games when I... uh. When I pretty much was uh, crying with saliva out my mouth, but now that this <laughs> stuff is coming, now that this stuff is coming up, you can't say you can't be chin up chest out like you always say. That's your favorite word. Yeah, chin up chest every, out. He end up every letter like that. Chin up chest out. So and you're not being chin up chest out, but you want to pretty much do threats like mm-hmm. that's that's foul. He told well, he me to know, drop an address. He know he know he know about my family. Quayla know about my family. So the fact that matter, he acting macho and tough and everything, and people are, people don't play about their family. People mm-hmm. don't play about their family. He told me Literally. drop an address. I told him to get to St. Louis, and then we can meet up. Get to St. Louis first, and then we can meet up. He said, who said I thought you was going to go hard? Uh, oh, that's, that's the sister. That's, that's the sister. <laughs> yeah, and I just feel like all his family should stay out of it. At, at the end of the day, how I look at it is between me, Quaylen, and Aaron. That's it. Because at the I end don't of day, no with the day, it it, it 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 honestly it ain't even between Aaron, right? It's but honestly how I feel about it is between me and Quaylen, but Quaylen didn't make it between yeah. us. Because I'm over the I'm over him. Being yeah, over him. It, it, he didn't make it. I was just I was just it. putting you. I was just letting you know who he was. That's all. And I appreciate that because you didn't have to do that. I appreciate mm-hmm. you because you saved my life for being involved another year and a year and a year with this man. So, yeah, I appreciate that. And when you asked me, was I going to stay? I said, no, I'm done. I don't play that stuff. I got a whole nine-year-old daughter that I'm trying to live for. And she knew something was wrong with him, too. You get what I'm saying? And then I said, like, yeah, like I was saying back to the family, none of them should be in this right now because he was he's, he's treated them wrong, too. And if they ever want to know some personal real stuff or whatever, I'll let them know. Yeah, because I know I want, some stuff too. He can find me for and years. I up, and, and that's the part that I wouldn't put. But like I said, I knew I know too much. So the fact of the matter is, like, like, don't don't come for me because I didn't send for you, Quaylen. If you happy and all that going with your life, why are you pressed on anything that I'm doing? You're hitting me up. I'm not hitting you up. You blocking me. See, one thing about it is Quay don't have to be in his feelings all the time. That's his problem. Quay but at the, to take accountability for what the things, the things he didn't did. That's all. That's, that's, it, that's, that's all. it. That's all. That's it. Apologize, that's all. Apologize and move on. He might his that's rap it. career might take off if he come out and say he's bisexual. It's too late. Because the mm-hmm. fact of the matter is. You're laughing at my pain and my hurt. And mm-hmm. you laughing about my pain and my hurt, thinking it's funny and saying that I'm lying and all that when I've been nothing but good to this man. Yeah. Even when he treated me horrible, I was still good to him. Um, yeah, I must not Yeah, I know. You know? So, at the end of the day, like, I'm not making no time for Quaylen, and I'm not making no more time for for you, young lady. Like, honestly, I feel like you a victim, too, because he pretty much said so many lies after lies after lies after lies. And I'm sure that you didn't know that before you talking about y'all was together, right? And you had a mis- miscarriage last year. Another woman had a miscarriage, too. And I got those mm-hmm. messages, too. So he has been a straight clown. And he played with want, all of our lives. She can do this interview anywhere because um, I stopped doing what I was doing. You, I mean, all you got to do is pick the phone up just like you. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's listening. So she can just join the interview and say what she got to say, too. So it's planned, though. When you got to plan something and, and figure out what you're going to say and what's going on, that's when, no, I don't have that much time. Like I said, I don't, I'm not, I don't go off of their time. They time, mm-hmm. they, they got too much time on their hands. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not about to go off of that. 
if we if you said that you wanted me you harassing me early this morning baby you are, you you harassed me and wanted me to do the interview with you and I'm doing the interview with grace because I was I was gonna let you talk I was gonna ask you why you think that I'm lying because I don't have nothing to lie to you about I don't know what you've been told and what the lies you've been fed but my receipts are facts I've not told you not one lie one lie now if you have if you accepting him doing all this and all that that's on you that shows how insecure you are as a woman and we're supposed to uplift each other i put you up on game on everything that was going on and you still stayed i didn't so i'm not scorn a scorn person is him it's you quaylin because if you're happy and you're and you're doing you why are you threatening me? Want to take my life, telling me you're going to kill me? And I take that personally. I don't take that type of threat. I don't take that. So now I got to watch my back. And I don't, and, and, and that's not cool for me they gotta, that I got to watch my back, even when I got a restraining order. I don't like to feel like somebody that I once cared for and really did for is now an op. And he's basically trying to basically take my life just because something that I didn't do and I'm a victim. So at the mm. end of the day, so me get, the um, day, I'm if you're, about if you're in here, if you're looking, I know you're looking, uh, we can put up on a link. So he we really here. My cousin said bring him in alive. Oh, uh, D Mark down there? Yeah, D Mark down there. Drop the link for D Mark. What's up, brother? Drop the link for my dog, man. Drop the link for him. My cousin said drop the link for him. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's like this. If 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 Mika, you told us you you was steady texting, you thought you was texting me, but you really was texting my wife. My wife is at work. I'm just so happy to have the day off today, but I will be back at work. So I don't have time to just be trying to do interviews. And then when I'm in these trucks, their they're, they're, they're car cigarette thing don't work. So yeah. the, for the charger, it don't be working. So I can't I can't just be wasting my battery. You know what I'm saying? I'm not wasting it, saying like a bad way, but I'm saying I need my phone for GPS and all types of stuff. So and when you said it was a perfect time to do it today, so we're, we're still waiting on you. Even when D Mark hey. get up here, cause we, we, a lot we, of we, still, we, and we are still working. We are working right now, but we took right. We, <laughs> we are working yeah, right now, but we, I got I got a little bit of time. I'm working with it too, you. What up, D Mark? Yes, you, bro. Hey, y'all can hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. What's going on with you? Hey, hold on, hold on. hey, man, that nigga a hoe, bro. <laughs> that nigga, I'm gonna just say like this. I'm gonna just tell you, just standing on real business, man, for real. Like he only doing all that clown shit because he know I'm not around. Mm. That nigga know what's up with me, man. I don't even, I don't even get all the, all the gang shit in the gang talk. Like I said, I don't know nothing about Aaron, but buddy, like you ain't addressed this man about shit. That part. Nothing. Like this one, one thing. I've been in prison. Like I said, I did six and a half. So. One thing you can't have a jacket on is a, a man coming out saying that he had a relationship with you. This nigga that ain't living part. in his truth. Why you ain't living in yours, bro? Come on, man. This ain't no. Come on, but that shit ain't gangster. You wanna you wanna go out to a female? Tell that nigga come holler at a real nigga like me. We're gonna see what that temperature really about. Cause you ain't cut like that. You, your mama, your sister, nobody in your bloodline, nigga. Straight up. And he coming and he come for me, not knowing that I got family that that would be like that. Nigga, we ain't even got Chevelle. Me and you ain't even got to fuck with each other. But that nigga ain't gonna fuck with you. He's soft. That boy. He's so like me and my cousin ain't fuck with each other. But I guarantee you, bro, I will I will crash out on that nigga. Bad. And that's he bad. Know that. What he's saying. He know that though. That's why he doing all that. To you. He ain't gonna king. He sat there. Y'all noticed that the nigga sat there and had arguments with females. He ain't gonna go back with a nigga, and if he do it, ain't gonna last long. So he gonna lame. Not at all. He gonna block you. Yep. 
That's what he did to me. That's crazy. You you spoke on it. He did that exact right. same shit to me. Bro, yeah. I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Like, and then you're gonna post some of some. I'm gonna do an interview, y'all, but I'm gonna do it with my mama. We don't give a fuck about what your mama gonna interview. I'm glad nigga, you brought that up. Nigga, yeah, what because when, that when is the interview too. happening? That's what made me mad too. What type of what when? type of what type of nigga you supposed to be some type of TV TV celebrity or whatever? You got your mama asking you questions, nigga, not nobody who got no type of they standards or stations behind that shit. Your mama ain't got no credibility, nigga. When and, is the interview we, the supposed to question, happen? The only question we want to ask is why you ain't addressed Aaron. He got receipts, nigga. Because he he know about me. That's why. Man, he know my whole family. He know me. He ain't go. He ain't go. Crazy. Hey, that's crazy. I, I, I told you there was something iffy about the nigga a long time ago, but hey. And I, he I, did. I, he I, said I that. He I just don't want, I just don't want motherfuckers he to feel like that. I'm a hater, bro. Like, damn, man, like, we ain't gonna, nah, we ain't gonna do all that, man. All this, you made her. I didn't see my nigga touch 30,000 before she was even 20, nigga. So all this shit you talking about, you made her, you could never make no hustler. So I don't know what he's talking about. It must be, a, he must be talking about the Chevelle car or something, because you can't be talking about her. Can't be. He's speaking you can't fast. be talking about no money. You ain't touched no real money until you got out and fucked with my cousin. And that's nigga, fast. what you talking about? That's fast. Like, this nigga, man, that nigga a cornball. The nigga's a cornball, dog. Like, call it what it is. He's a cornball. That shit crazy. It's, it's just funny. It's just funny to me to sit here and look at because I don't know if he's a crip or a blood. I don't know what he is. He keep changing it up about what you he got. You got, 60, you got 60 tatted on your back or whatever. Then you got uh, yeah. Aaron name tatted on your chest. Then you got fucking you had before you cut your hair. You had red dress. Like what? Come on, man. Come on, man. What? What? What, what we doing? What, what you is? You confused, and that's what you is. You confused. That's what's going on. That nigga, man. That shit, man. Yeah. This shit crazy. Let's talk about New Year's. You guys were together with New Year's, right? Wasn't he with Mika at the same time? Apparently, that's what we're doing. We made it 2023. We made it to 2023. That's how that happened. With that New Year's situation. We were living together. We were together. And we were getting ready to shoot. Well, not even shoot. We were just together for New Year's. And not this New Year's, or New Year's I just had. Chevelle, Chevelle, when have you ever showed up to this nigga house with my Ela crying, talking about you ain't got nowhere to go? He is lying. Let me tell you about this that situation. So, I pretty much, uh, let me just put this out there. He basically, uh, I left I left the suite that we were staying in the time because our place wasn't ready. I left the suite for a week because I found out that he had condoms in his pocket and he was he was basically doing some, some fuck shit, right? So I pretty much left and went to my mother's house. Quaylen can't pay the bills there. So therefore, I still helped him. We made up. And I pretty much went back to the room after that. So for him to talk about, oh, I cried and all, ain't nobody cried or nothing. He needed my help. <laughs> so once again, he lied talking about I cried like I cried over what? And I got those receipts too from the hotel. So I don't pretty much have to pretty much justify about how that happened because he lying about that too. Mm. I want to ask this. When D Mark brought that up, it just brought a memory in my head. When is this interview supposed to happen? Because I thought it was supposed to happen this weekend. <laughs> I could have sworn I thought it was supposed to happen well last weekend, technically. I thought it was gonna happen too. That's what he said. He said they was having an interview. Uh it was that he won't argue. Man, at, at this point, we don't even it's never it's never we don't happen. give a fuck no more. Right. <laughs> We don't, nobody even give a fuck no more. Like, right. when, a motherfucker, when a motherfucker come out with some receipts, you literally have 24 hours to address them bitches. Nigga, you it's been about a month. Yes, it has. Like, we ain't got, we, ain't, we we really don't care at this point. You is what you is, bro. We just want you to just live in your truth. Don't play this whole gangster, tough ass act, nigga, like you like that and you take dick, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You got me fucked up. Nigga, break yeah. every bone in your body, nigga, like you don't smoke dope, nigga. You smoke dope, nigga. 
I know the nigga who served you, nigga. Stop playing, nigga. You over here doing all that rapping, nigga, like you like that, bro. Take your dick is crazy. Look at the nigga. Aaron, no? Aaron seen that nigga before he got out. Aaron, he still looked the same to you? Fuck no. All right. It's only one other way. It's only one other way to explain that shit. Mm, 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 mm. So Aaron, I'm gonna ask you this. Yeah, I'm here. Like, what, 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 what made you come out and just say something about it? Like, was it people in prison already telling you? Like, say something about it. Like, I'm pretty sure the whole, you know, the prison walls talk the, so everybody gonna know. What made you fully when, just say fuck it? I'm coming out and saying something about it. When the show originally aired, I was back in jail. I was in the feds at the time. And my sister had reached out to me and uh, basically told me that it was a show with Quayline on there because my whole family know Q. And some it was a blogger on one of the pages on Facebook was saying they had pulled up a, um, a letter that he had sent me on Valentine's Day or something like that. And when I came home, I was talking to Q on the phone whatever. And he was like, uh, I told him that the producers had reached out to me. He was like, just keep playing dumb. I'm like, all right. I kept going along with it, talking to him whatever. And I'm just like, no, nah, I ain't going to do shit. Because I'm still watching the show, the show or whatever. Chevelle Smart, she's going to get married to him. She's going to let her baby be adopted by him and all that. I'm like, no, nah, I got sisters. I got aunties. I got a That's mama. Some real That's some real and shit right there. I don't want my people going through no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that he needs to be exposed. You know, like, a lot of people feel like I'm wrong for exposing him or whatever. But I don't give a fuck. I did what wow. I felt was right. Why do you, you can't be wrong for sitting there exposing a nigga on a DL, sitting up here having a whole, man, it, it's, Right here, you know it's niggas like that in prison got whole fucking families at fucking home and then they right in prison get fucked by a man or go to visitation and kiss their fucking wife in the mouth and go yep. back and suck a dick. This mm. nigga's crazy. True story. That's crazy. Man, I right. real, man. This shit is real. Yeah, it is real. And this yeah. is my real life. This is what I'm going through, you know? Is that but, is girl, I'm gonna tell you right, I'm gonna tell you right now what you need to stop fucking doing on but, this internet shit. Stop all this, all this stuff. You already know that nigga not going to do nothing fair for your life. He pussy. That nigga ain't going to kill nothing. He wouldn't let nothing die. All that shit making this nigga feel like he got the up on you. Talking about stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm, I, I, I'm threatened for my life. He a bitch. This is the same nigga, Chevelle, who let a whole nigga check you, and I had to check the nigga. And he went yeah. to go smoke with him. This the I same remember. nigga. Yeah. Get of this bitch ass nigga. I'm Oh, man. And you're right. You're right, uh, Bart. That's, that's why I true. said. That's why, and he's right. My cousin's right because at the end of the day, that's why I said. After this, I'm done with the interviews. Like you know, people's like Chevelle, keep healing. I've been healing. I've been doing me. I actually, I, I'm, I ain't really been in Dallas, but I'm in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So my. And thing, and, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, Chevelle. And another reason what made me come out is because I got upset because Q had already told me that he had never messed with another nigga. A dude mm. that a dude inboxed me and sent me a video of him and Q um basically having sex. Mm. He was he was Q was on his shoulders. He, he had Q up in the, in the air on his shoulders oh and he was stuck God, on his Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I can't post the video because they keep saying they go block my Nah, face, don't so. post it, don't post it, don't post it, don't. Yeah, but... this, this, yeah, this, yeah, we, we, we get it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <no>. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I showed the video to Javel. So Javel, was that his body or not? You said what happened? Here? The video I showed you. Of oh yeah, I, I seen the video, and that's when oh. when when I seen that when I seen that video, I pretty much was in the shower for a long time scrubbing my body. <laughs> that and that's why I, I just feel so I feel disrespected by him because I feel like you play with my life like you violated me in the in the worst way ever in the worst way ever like you could have gave me something thank god I got tested and I'm good but the fact of the, the fact of the matter is you could have gave me something and you could have took me away from my daughter's life and another thing yeah. is, to all the people that's in the comments and shit telling us, some, oh, well, it's your fault. You should have known he was gay. Man, niggas can put a blind over your eyes, man. Exactly. I didn't know he you was. Can't sit here, you can't sit here and blame somebody for what another person's uh, sexual preference is, what they prefer. Like, you only can go by what a person tell you until they show you different. And this nigga has just so different in a whole 360, because I'm like, damn, this nigga gay gay. Like, 
He yeah. ain't play gay. He gay, gay, gay. Like he like it, like it. So Aaron, when you, when Quaylen got out, or when you was out when Quaylen was out, right? Uh, when Q originally, when he first originally got out, no, I had, I, I was back and I got back locked up. So did y'all, y'all ain't never when you had got out, you ain't never like link with him or nothing. No, we never linked. We was uh, planning to link last year for the Super Bowl down in Kansas City, but. I, I kept oh, y'all it. was coming to the town, Jesus Christ! I, we, I was I was down there. I don't know if he ever made it or not. Well, what? he said he was down there. We just never looked. We just never linked up. Oh. Mm. Mm. And then on top of that, he was asking Aaron for money. What? Yes, not Mister. Yes. Not Mister. Got it. Not Mister. Not Mister. Bag man. He was asking. He was asking Aaron for money. Uh. PayPal, Aaron, something what you sent him a sack, right, Aaron? I didn't send him nothing. He wanted me to send him some money. I didn't oh. send him. This, I didn't send him nothing. He wanted me to send him some money to get him and his sister down to Kansas City. Oh, okay. I didn't send him. Yeah. I didn't send him anything. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, awesome. that's, he gave me the, 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 um, the most I sent him was twenty dollars. Damn, I'm starting to itch. He giving me broke vibes. Oh, uh, duh. <laughs> he's a dope fiend. Mm, mm, mm. That's the crazy. Sister, that said this is a skit. Yeah, his sister. Oh, his sister said it was a skit. Ain't no, ain't no skit about this. This what is real. She thought, what she was said I was lying about it. Like, listen, I do not like lie what away. Was the, what was, hold on, what was the skit? Everything that's going on. He's saying that me and Chevelle are playing this to ruin his career. What career? Nobody know you clown. What career? It's, it's his rap career. Man, <laughs> fuck out of here. Nobody listens to that shit, man. What the, that shit out the window, man. man his, favorite, his, his best song he ever made was a song about me, Anniversary. Man. Hey. His, his rap career. What, what, okay, what's his rap, okay, what's his rap, what's his rap name? Yes, I think it's Quay the Great. Quay, That's Quay. crazy uh-huh. that you got to think that you don't know what Q4, the nigga rap is. I thought it was Q45. Yeah. See, Q4 that's five. crazy. Nobody know the nigga rap name. Or it might be Queasy. Man, that nigga, Queasy? Queasy. I don't know. He got too many. That explains it all right there to me. Queasy Queasy. Queasy Queasy. Queasy and Queasy. That shit. <laughs> Talk about some motherfucking skit, man. We, man, I ain't with all that, man. Shit, because he already know his. Tell you, if he really want to get out, we can get in the field and get your sisters. Get your sister and get your mama. Let's see what y'all really, if y'all really like that. <laughs> Nigga. Talking about some set up a celebrity boxing match. First yeah, of all, you ain't no celebrity. Yeah, he's a celebrity nigga. boxing match. It ain't no select because I want to be. I want to punch on you for real. I don't want no gloves. I don't want no gloves, nigga. I don't want to put no money in your pocket, nigga. You can stay broke forever, nigga. Mm. So you fuck, know, that's back what he's saying. And his sister's over there. Queen, my whole queen. thing is this. My whole thing is this. His sister's sitting over there talking all that shit. He told motherfucking seesaw. One minute you want to be on my my cousin's side, the next minute you want to ride for your brother. Y'all motherfuckers get so wishy washy. Ain't no motherfucking way you gonna ever get me to ride for Quayle. I don't give a fuck how much I don't fuck with my cousin. Exactly, and that's my thing. But but, but guess what? They you users. know her they own brother Quayle don't even mess with her like that. You know what they I'm saying? Users. They don't mess with each other like that. So my thing is, I, that's that's my thing right there, D Mark. I would have. She should have never got on there on live with me anyway. But she That's did because said, she was, like, she ain't messing with her brother. She but she, she should mess with her brother anyway because the way he done her, he done her horribly. I'm li- I'm literally on this live right now. With, this is the first time I probably talked to Savelle in two years. And that's fact. <laughs> See, that's the thing what? about I'll it. We can you, talk back. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, and I'll tell you right motherfucking now, you will never catch no interview with me and Quayle talking about my cousin. Nigga, what? Mm. Like, where they do that at? Like this shit, this shit, hey man, hey man, that's why I ain't never. The got only back person on this. that had his best interest was his mama. He treated her horrible, but I'm sure. Yeah, he but that's the, to her. but that's the one that's gonna do the interview for him. I guess you know. Damn, she got a fat ass. Huh? Nah, I was looking at somebody outside. Had a fat ass. <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but when I heard when I when I heard that when I heard that shit about. That shit about Quayle, I'm like, I had to go have a threesome or something. I said, I had to, this shit crazy. I had to go, <laughs> I had to go get my, get my brain right. Cause I'm like, what? This nigga, what? That yeah. nigga getting the salad toss. He ain't even tossing the salad. He the one getting tossed. That's crazy. 
Let Aaron say it. Tell it. What? Man, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron was uh, a little bit detailed to end. And my thing is, Aaron, while you was in there the whole entire time, like, y'all, y'all did it countless? I mean, I'm just trying to... Um, that was my that was my cellmate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was my so cellmate. So now that makes sense. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <sighs> during, during, during count time, night time, whenever. God, please. I didn't get no points. Jesus Christ. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we'll love to see him boxing, is, um, When Aaron oh. left, I think when you had left uh, out of there, I started visiting Quaylen and Cameron because Quaylen was in Cameron first. Then he went to uh, Farmington. He went to yeah, he was and he went to Farmington, and then he pretty much got out in Bowling Green. Mm-hmm. Man, that's crazy. And they, and they jacked his custody level back up because he had got caught with the phone or something. That's me. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so basically, she wanted this interview to happen. It happened, and she didn't deliver or show up or nothing. Damn, man! She said that I lied. I'm trying to figure out what I'm lying about. I ain't lying about nothing. Everything I'm saying is facts. He could have had me interview him. He should have had me interview him. He should have had me interview him. I would have interviewed him. As soon as you open his mouth, I would have punched him in his shit. <laughs> that would and that would have been the interview. And that that motherfucker would have went well too. That would have been a good interview. Yeah, he just he just served me, you know, because you know, like the market said, you know, I ain't even gonna pay no, I ain't gonna pay no attention to it because that's why I said I'm done after today after I talk. So if they want to get on the interview, I mean, Man. it's pointless after this. Chevelle, we've been in so many, we've been been in so many real wars. This is this shit is so fucking it sprinkles is. and bubbles and fucking dandelions, bro. Like this nigga weed, dog. Like I don't even, I don't get it. I just, all right, hey, hey, yeah, this, this is something else. This is this is something else. Hey, but I tried, to, I tried to tell you, I got to rub it in your face a little bit. I tried to tell you. I yeah, I kind of listen, and you did. Let me just say that that's that, that he is he ain't lying. I'm gonna tell the truth. Yeah, multiple times he did multiple, but I but listen, like I said, but hey, know, when you I, love a motherfucker, you love a motherfucker, you, you when you, right? Love. And everybody you, has been there, everybody has been there, so everybody's been there. So, everybody that's has been accountability there. that's all we got to do is accountability, and that's facts. So, yeah. so yeah, he told me several times, but I pretty much went against it. So you know, like I said, love make you do some crazy things, but you know, like he said, like d said, said, uh, he said on a uh, TV show, he said, ain't that much love in the world, right? <laughs> no. Ain't that much love in the world for you to be loving a nigga that's, that's fucking a man. Exactly. So, and then pretty much they wanted me to be quiet about it and like be quiet about it for what? Like it's this is my story. Nah, my expose story. them down low niggas. Don't be quiet about that. Oh, you, nah. you get what I'm saying? Like what he acting like I exposed him and I never did. I was just told the information back to back. I found out about him and I found out about her the same week. And do y'all do you see the receipts back to back, correct? Yeah, I seen it back to back December 9th, December 10th. Oh, okay. So I found out about them both in one week back to back. So imagine that. They want me to be depressed and all that. No, I'm living life. I'm living life like it's my life. Dude, huh? Dude. that's crazy, bro. You know, I ain't about to be doing. I ain't. Mm-mm. I'm healing good, and I'm gonna continue to heal and grow. And the best is yet to come. I just wanted. To, I just wanted. To, I just wanted to clear up the lies about the whole. He made a motherfucker. A nigga who ain't never had none can't make nobody. I'm just keeping it a band. You ain't never bought a car. You ain't never. You don't even know what it feel like to go to a car lot and just buy a car and have it in your name. No, because he still don't so, have a car now. That's crazy. What he? And how he gonna? He gonna? What he gonna pull up on you on Uber? He gonna get at you in the Uber? You only you get so many stops. D Mark, I stay. <laughs> I stay in a, a a a private area that nobody know about. So he ain't go. He don't know where I I be at. I move different. I'm like a week, man. I'm like a That's all. But I just pretty much was giving um 
addressing the situation and pretty much meeting her uh, uh, promptly around two o'clock. Now it's three twenty-three. So I basically who you was to, who, 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 you were supposed to be meeting who? Uh, apparently Mika. the young, the girl the young lady wanted to, to get her and Quaylen on um on Geo's uh live or whatever to say whatever she had to say about me lying and everything. But I mean, what who lie is, did I who hear? is who is Mika? That's Quaylen's girlfriend. Damn, she's saying all this shit and she's still with him. Damn, yeah. damn, crazy. Yeah, little mama crazy. What she look like? This woman out there that like that though, D. Marcus. I was telling oh, Seville this, this earlier. Right here, this the picture of her. Yeah, I was telling Seville earlier. This woman out there that like that. They don't care. That's crazy. Mika. Her name Mika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Where's her name. Where's she from? Where's she from? Mississippi. Mississippi. Cook a letter. Cook a letter. Ah. <laughs> that is something else. <laughs> Oh shit! Ah. Damn, Mika, man. But when she find out everything, tell her like you know what I'm saying. She come holler at a real nigga like me, you know what I'm saying. She can get on some real paper and got to take care of no nigga. You feel me? That's what she can do. <laughs> she want to talk about. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. That's what she can do. Yeah. Yeah. He down there in Mississippi acting like Lil Murdoch, P Valley. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I think that was, I think, that was a that was a fire line I didn't heard today. You can see he acting like little murder off of P Yeah, that's crazy. But but one thing about it, look, little murder look. Lil Murder was really like that. Yeah, Lil Murder was like that for real, yeah, bro. Really like I don't even feel it. That boy, Lil Murder had smoke from you, hear me? <laughs> yeah, he just he just getting a salad toss. That's all he's just doing. He ain't putting in no type of work. Well, he I don't know. He putting in work with niggas. He ain't putting in no work in the field. I'm like, hey. <laughs> Fact. Who said that, Aaron? You said that shit? What? Said nah, that, uh, that, I think Aaron said that. Pete Valley. Yeah, the yeah, P Valley yeah, shit. Yeah, Aaron yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, I said that. Damn. <laughs> Aaron said, "Yeah, I said that." <laughs> I came, I came, but I just came, but I'm just sitting here like shocked that Buddy just going on and on. Like I think, I think really something wrong with him. I think he really need a check. Because for you to sit here. I'm sitting here telling you, like, bro, you gay. Like, you need to go talk to the person who's telling you that he then fucked on you and all this shit, but you ain't saying nothing to him. You're going to go after the female you with. Bust your veil. Woo -woo -woo -woo. But what about Aaron? Uh, he, what, he, what he, about he, 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 he texted me. He texted me a couple times, but that was it. It wasn't nothing major. He texted you? What'd he say? On 60s, um, he go, it's like that when he see me. No. He said, he said, he said, on 60s, it's like that when he see you? That's yeah. what he said. First of all, I'm going to put it like this. Don't even put nothing on your set, bro. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm about to interview a legend that's from Rolling Sixties. That's Nipsey Elsa Homeboy. I'm finna interview one of them real soon. He a legend out here in LA. So, uh, yeah. And I'm gonna I'm bring this up probably during the interview. I'm gonna bring this up. Man, that man gonna have that man gonna have two words or a couple words for you. He ain't gonna know that nigga, man. Nobody mm -hmm. knows that nigga, man. Shavelle but I'm gonna bring it up about somebody known. being from Rolling Sixties doing all this. That nigga ain't never been shit, man. Like he does this, I I just can't. Man. He's right. corny. He's lame. He's lame. Then I then I seen him. Then I was listening to you talk about that little car accident. Shit, that's why I said put me on a lie. I'm like the nigga lying. He wrecked out. Tell me somebody mm -hmm. ran him off the road. Man. Yep, he wrecked out. That's and that's what that he said. Not, that, went nigga off the road. Not, that nigga nodded. That nigga nodded off and wrecked. That's that's what he said. He can't drive. That's what he said. Then he lied some shit. Some some the police officer. He recognized me from TV. Man, nigga, he wasn't even watching that show. I'm lying. <laughs> he I'm can't lying. say that. <laughs> I'm lying, man. Yeah, he wrecked it. Nigga, nigga, nigga done smoked up all his advance money and then gonna act at the easy end of the season. Oh, well, where my money at? You smoked it. You can't keep acting for advance after advance after advance and they give it to you. Then you're gonna say, well, money. Ain't no money, my boy. Mm, I'm still waiting for the uh, the uh, series that he t uh, did or whatever uh, with them. I think they took that off. Man, at this point, at this point, buddy needs to just go hide under a rock. 
For real. You need to just hide under a rock. It ain't or nothing. Just live in the truth. Just come on that, down and just that, give me your truth. Honestly, I ain't, I'm a, I, like I told you on my interview, I'm going to keep out here being with y'all. If he was to live in his truth and just come out and then drop a song, he fuck around blow. What I say earlier, y'all. Uh, he fuck yeah. around blow. He fuck, because because you're gonna get that you're gonna get that community behind you. Yeah, you gotta after get you, that little Nas X and that yeah, uh that little Nas X and Saucy Santana future. You might gonna go up. Get the bag, bro. He did go up. He did go up. He did go up. He fucking niggas for free. You might as well get a bag. If he did it, if he did it, he might invite him to his house. He gonna go too. He definitely gonna go. He's selling his soul for twenty dollars. I know he's selling for a record deal. Man, that nigga, <laughs> man, that that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. That nigga, that yeah. nigga sucked dick for free. Then he ain't even had to pay that nigga to suck a dick. That's crazy. Did it? We got your next artist. Did it? If you listen, if he did it, pouch of kite. That's when they were still selling kite. A pouch of kite for two forty four. He did it. If you listening, bro, we got your next artist, man. His name Quaylen. Uh. Galen, uh, nah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What's the other name? What's the other name? He go by Queen, Queasy, 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 four five. You say he go by Queasy, bro. You say he go by Queasy, four five. Q four five, Queasy, Q four five. Where's the four? Where the four five come from? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's how he said. He said that's the only kind of gun he used to carry. Man, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you what he told me. All right, man. Hey, man, we used to have deep talks in the cell. Come on, man. The, the type of gun you used to carry, what, he went in at 17, right? Yeah. What what he go in for? Robbery? robbery. He, went in for, he went in for robbery, right? And yeah. I'm going to tell you like this. At 17, you went in for robbery, and how he talked like you've been in the field for a minute, so you know what's what and what's not. You know yeah. like you stand on business and not. Like, nigga, as soon as you got a chance to be freaky, you became freaky. You was gay before you went in, blood. Straight yeah. like that, nigga. Ain't no way, nigga. I did six and a half all the way to the door, nigga. And I ain't, I ain't never, I ain't never even got the urge to feel like, damn, man. I wonder if what buddy can do over here. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Come man. on. Man. Yeah, it, 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 it's like that. Niggas be thinking that prison shit fake. That shit's real. No, that's that real life. Real. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! That shit funny, dog. I could have oh, swear Boondocks warned us of this shit years ago, bro. <laughs> I swear. I swear Boondocks. Boondocks warned us of this shit years ago. Yeah. That Queasy. shit crazy. That's his rap name. I'm calling him Queefy, little Queefy. But even more That's crazier, when I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I was when I was thinking about this shit, I surely was thinking about P-Valley. I was like, bro, this shit reminded me too much of P-Valley. Yeah, that crazy. Little murder. Little... Nah, oh, my I can't God. No, nah, I can't call him Little Murder though. That's too. Nah, you can't do that. <laughs> Look, Gay. Yeah, yeah. Look, Gay. Look, Gay. Oh, Little Galen. Yeah. Look, Gay. Little Quay Galen. Come to Galen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Queef Queef. He be Queef Queefing over here. That boy got a pussy. Fuck you talking about, man. That nigga crazy. Hey, y'all. I gotta <laughs> go. I gotta, get, I gotta get back to work. I gotta go though. But, uh, yeah. yeah. It was nice talking yeah. to y'all. Okay, yeah. All right, Chabelle, All right and peace and love, brother. Peace All and right. love. Peace okay. and love. Any, right. any other questions y'all want to ask me as well while I'm on here? I'm working still, but I can still talk. Yeah, they can ask me some questions before I get off this motherfucker. So I'm right. Like, <laughs> this <laughs> look, this look, look, this is my last time talking about this. I, I'm not bringing his name up in my vocabulary. I'm not talking about it. I don't care what he do and what he say even after today. That's that. And I'm going to go on my story and I'm going to race all that stuff on there because at this moment, I don't care no more. Ain't nothing he can say or do. Cause you, you're, giving it, him, you're giving him too much publicity, bro. It, that, that part. And so that's why I'm going to go ahead and race publicity. all that. He ain't, he, he's liking that. He's liking, the, he's liking that pump. That little he pump. ain't like that, bro. Like, shit crazy. I just, you know. Oh, man. G, my you boy. got any questions you want to ask? Or are you good? Man, I done asked enough questions. I done heard enough. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I done heard it all, man. Oh, man. My is spinning. I think I done got a whole, uh, I think I got lightheaded. <laughs> laughing so hard. Bro, this is crazy. This is crazy. 
But uh, Mika, we gave you a chance. We gave you the chance to come on and do oh, your he interview. You was supposed to get on here right now. Yeah, yeah she was hey, supposed to do the interview, but she she took too long. She kept pushing the time back, and I I can't let the people keep waiting. You know what I'm saying? Because people got stuff to do. People on their lunch break. Listen, he already got his own platform, right? Because he got it off of the show. Why? Why y'all got it? Why he got to do it on your platform if you want to speak? Because y'all gonna cover it and get it anyway. Once you do it yourself. Like, yeah. come on, man. That shit ain't nothing but an excuse, man. Come on, man. I ain't. As a matter of fact, at this point, I don't even give a fuck to know. Right. At this point, I don't care what. what, what you already know what's up. We done yeah. heard enough. We done heard a. We done, Aaron that came out and exposed it, and I'm totally with both of y'all. Was saying that, yeah, like. And then exposed the whole entire situation and the thing. So I don't think he lying about that. And like I like I told her before, I didn't lie about anything that I had to say about it. Everything that I gave was has been facts. The receipts has been facts. I said what I said and I stand ten toes on it. Like I so. and like I said, me and my cousin not fucking with each other. We gotta figure that out when we figure that out, but we ain't gonna do this facts. lying shit, bro. We're not about yeah. to do this lying. We're not about to do this whole lying and all this shit you did this and you did that nigga i was around i seen it i know what's what and what's not yeah well she knew it now i'm gonna say this she she wasn't to come anytime she want to come but you see don't don't tell me to set something up and then not show up you know what i'm saying because i gotta start it anyway i gotta start the live anyway for people who want to oh, know what's I don't going care on she do a live or anything i'm i'm not addressing anything because I so if somebody said, was he ever zesty with you in the bedroom? And that's the thing about it. Aaron said he made him go crazy. So I'm just, I'm confused. That's crazy. Like yeah. I have not went, I didn't, I didn't go crazy, but I, I mean, it was, it was good, but he didn't, the way Aaron said it, I'm just like, well, dang, what he, what? Uh, you feel like he left you out. He didn't give you yeah. a game. <laughs> I like, I got it. You left me out. Why you gonna leave me out like that? Why you think you go crazy? <laughs> Oh shit! I, I'm mad about that. No, I'm just, I'm just, that's crazy. I'm like, hey, that's so crazy. Okay, hey, it is what it is. But uh, besides that, they can come on there. I mean, whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm not addressing anything else after that. Like I said, I'm the victim. Aaron came to me one day. She came to me the next day. Everybody knew about everything that was going on and stuff for me. Nobody told Chevelle. Whether he told whoever in his family or whatever, I didn't know about it. And that's my truth. And can't nobody take that away from me. So basically, at the end of the day, I'm a victim, but I'm a strong victim. And I'm a survivor, and I see the light. And I'm grateful for Aaron. I'm grateful for the people that stand beside me. So at the end of the day, anything that he say is like like Demar said, it's not it's not credible. Like it's it's pointless. Cause hey, I make sure y'all sure go make sure fuck all that fuck all that. Make sure I go follow a real nigga on my Instagram, big underscore canvas five, the biggest. I'm the biggest. Don't forget the realest. Real money get nigga. <laughs> Follow him, on, follow him on Instagram. You got a Facebook? Follow him on IG, man. For shit show. Now, don't follow me on Facebook. Just like Instagram. Don't get on my Facebook. Oh, okay. Well, follow yeah. him on Instagram. Yeah. And... What's up, Gio? I'm not saying that. I'm just wow. letting y'all shout y'all uh, channel oh, out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And my Instagram is respectfully Chevelle. Um, that's my Instagram. My uh, Snapchat is Chevelle Ricemore. Uh... Facebook, Chevelle, more. So follow me on all those uh, platforms, you guys. Uh, this is something that I don't know, that I don't do. I do not do interviews. I've not. Do y'all have I ever done an interview like like really on situations like this? No. 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 Nope. So mm -hmm. this will be the last interview as well too because I'm. I, I ain't got time for it no more. It's it's a waste of my time, my energy, and I'm moving on. And God bless them. And toodles. <laughs> and, make sure, and make sure all the fine, all the fine single honeys that's on here. Make sure y'all call me at two three nine six nine nine. Hop in my DM. I ain't getting it. <laughs> you know what? Oh, that no, we. I'm uh, out. It's been real. <laughs> All right, Gio, man. I'm out, man. All right. Thank All right, both bye. of y'all for coming up. I appreciate it. But yeah, Chevelle, I'm happy Chevelle came out and said something about it, y'all. And 
Man, it this went this didn't go as I expected it to. We were supposed to interview Mika, and Chevelle was gonna come up here and just talk to Mika, you know. But Mika never showed up. So at the end of the day, D Mark showed up, Aaron showed up, and Chevelle showed up. So all three of them are credible, and they're not lying. They obviously ain't lying because they on here talking about it, and they're not afraid to say anything about it. So until next time, folks. Until we hear more about the news. We're going to keep y'all posted on everything that goes on. And thank you for everybody who did Super Chat. We really do appreciate it a lot. And thank you for the people who are subbed to the channel. We do appreciate it a lot. We try to get the news out there and try our best to be unbiased at all. But at the end of the day, when you out here doing stuff in the dark, just know it will come to the light. And, man, got to get yourself together. But other than that, y'all got to get back to taking care of this two-year-old and go take these kids up to school. But... On the count of three, I'm going to peace y'all out. One, two, three. Peace and love.